Hi everyone, good morning. I am getting ready to go work out. My first workout since winning Mrs. American. Ah! Oh my goodness, it's just still so surreal. Uh, hard to believe a week ago I was on here talking to you all about, you know, getting ready. And now here we are. But okay, let's talk about SmackDown last night. I'm seeing my sneakers on. Uh, um, the whole bloodline thing. I like how they're building it up. I am just waiting for Roman to come back, quite honestly, at this point. I don't know if they can stretch it to SummerSlam. I feel like I'm getting a little like impatient for Roman to come back, and I just think other people are too. So curious to see how they stretch it. Like the little Kevin Owens, of course. Uh, I just love his interactions always with the bloodline. So overall, very interesting, and I think... In my opinion, if there was anything to push Roman to come back, it's what happened on SmackDown last night. Kind of surprised he didn't come back then, quite honestly. All right. Um, other things that happened. Uh, the Grayson Waller, Austin Theory, um, impending breakup of their bestie relationship. So it's happening. I love the slow build to that. And I feel like that reflects into how they're slow building. Hopefully at some point, Jade and Bianca having a feud. I feel like there's this thing about breaking up a tag team that feuds are just very, very cool and interesting. So looking forward, my cats are jumping around. So if you hear stuff, it's them being quite great. Um, yeah. So curious to see that. I don't really like Austin Theory that much. I know a lot of people say he's great. So maybe this will make me see that in him. Um, and I could just do about Grayson Waller, like quite honestly, that's just kind of my thing with Grayson Waller. I'm just like, eh, with him. Uh, but overall, I'm curious to see what direction they're going to go in with that. Again, SmackDown tag teams especially, I'm just kind of like, they're there. That's how I feel about them. Um, the whole backstage thing with AJ Styles and Cody and the in-ring thing, I mean, it's fabulous. And I think Cody, you're seeing this more like aggressive side of him through this thing through this feud which I love I think you needed that um and I think AJ I know AJ is planning on retiring soon so I don't know if this is how they're going to retire him or not I'm kind of curious to see what happens but yeah I'm just curious but what he did remind me of in this whole thing is what a great heel promo he is He's just, like, both times, just such a great heel promo. And I'm just very intrigued and excited to see what happens next with this whole thing. And very excited to see this match at Clash of the Castle. I also will say that, I, you know, I've been a little concerned for LA Knight. Because we've been kind of, like, I feel like he's being lost in this mid-card shuffle. I do like this idea of him having a feud with Logan Paul. I think it's necessary. I think it makes sense. I think it's a great title for him. Um, you need to put a title on LA Knight. He is so over. And I feel like he's been getting lost in the shuffle a little bit. So happy to see it look like they have a trajectory and a storyline for him again. And I think him and Logan Paul are both great talkers. So it will really be, it could build into a great feud. Maybe a multi-pay-per-view feud. I don't know. But I'm just excited for that. Um, Nia Jax and Meacham next week. I love Meacham. And again, she's someone who I feel like just because there's so many women in the roster gets a little lost, but I think she's great. I'm excited to see that match. I'm curious because they've very much turned Nia Jax into someone who's not, is unbeatable. So how do you beat her? Because at some point she has to be beat, right? That's just part of this business. You don't always want. So I'm curious about that. Curious to see how that match goes. And excited to see what happens next. On um, the Piper promo with Bailey. Can we just like give a moment to my girl Chelsea Green in that? Because she was phenomenal. She looks gorgeous. She, yes, see, even tips agrees. Uh, she's a great mouthpiece for Piper. Piper can talk too, though. She did a good end of the promo also in that thing. But, like, Chelsea, like, in her little, uh, 
I just love it. I love everything she does. I love every mannerism of Chelsea. I just, you all know, I love Chelsea. And I think this is a great spot for her. And I cannot wait to see how this, like, goes at Clash of the Castle. I'm super excited for that. Um, and then the main event, which is a three-way. They've been doing that a lot lately on SmackDown. Have you guys noticed that? Like, a three-person tag match. And... Ended in disqualification, no surprise. There's so much like anger between all of these teams. Curious to see how this all plays out, right? Because you have like oh, Kevin Owens who's feuding with the bloodline, and then I like the Street Profits. I mean, like, I'm glad they are getting some time, but then you have this impending feud with Roman about to happen at any moment with the bloodline. So I just don't know how. That's all going to drive, but I'm always happy to see Kevin Owens. I think he's great. I just, yeah, I, he has endeared himself to me so much, and Street Profits look great at this. And also, does anyone don't know, like, there's so many people out right now with injuries, injuries like Bobby Lashley. Of course, you know my, my mommy, Rhea Ripley. I know they're saying she might not be back in time for SummerSlam, which hurts my heart. But, obviously, we know Seth is, you know, rehabbing from surgery. Just, like, there's so many people out right now with injuries. Asuka. Um, I'm just curious, like, when some of these people come back and how will they interweave back into the story? Because I feel like, especially Bobby Lashley, how, like, are, are, are they ending the whole thing with the Street Profits? Are they still doing it? I don't know. I'm very confused by that. So, those are my questions. But I'm sure we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm excited for Clash at the Castle next week. We have one more week of build time. Can't wait to see what else they do in that week to kind of really set it off. But so excited for Clash at the Castle. I think it's going to be a great show. Uh, curious about where... We, I think I talked about this last week because he had announced, or on Monday, that the main event was going to be Drew and Damian Priest. So where is Cody and AJ going to be on the card? That I'm curious about, but we'll find out together. All right, have a great day. I'm going to go get a quick workout in and then go hot yoga. And I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. As always, tell me your comments and in, in your thoughts below. Let's talk about wrestling. Bye.